I'm Gerald. I'm a corporate lawyer advising on mergers and acquisitions, transactions. Outside of legal work, um, I love writing poetry and reading poetry as well. So I published um, three poetry collections in Singapore, two with Math Paper Press and then one with Ethos Books. So as a first-time buyer, of course the financials have to make sense vis-a-vis -vis the functional aspects of the development. So um, external things like transport links, um, convenience, accessibility, availability of shops and um, provision stores. But aside from that, also maybe the internal functional aspects like quality of design, attention to detail. For me, as a first-time buyer particularly, I'm also interested in the perhaps more importantly, the aspirational aspects of this development. So, do I see myself as part of, of this neighbourhood? Um, do I identify with the message and the theme that this development is going for? I think these are really important considerations. When I first stepped into the show flat, um, it was already apparent that there was a lot of thought given um, in terms of how this development integrates with the existing Holland Village neighbourhood. And I love how it aims to weld modernity and tradition, which is really what is quintessentially Singaporean as a city-state. This development for me improves that, goes a step further, and it also brings what we love about Holland Village together. I'm very excited about the transformation that One Holland Village uh, residences will bring to the neighbourhood. I remember coming to Holland Village as a child. Um, I went to ACS Independent just around the corner. I remember being very excited, you know, hopping on bus 74 to Holland Village to go to the Starbucks after, I think, Friday lessons. So it was a really lovely memory and to see how um, this development adds to that excitement by bringing together, you know, community spaces, more retail, even office spaces spaces and that sheer diversity um, would be yeah, very interesting to watch for sure. What I like most about my unit is where it faces and the height. So I'm on the 18th floor and I think in front of my block it's just this huge expanse of land with good class bungalows. So I would get an unparalleled, unobstructed view of the neighbourhood and Singapore. So I think that was really um, the selling point for me. Purchasing a property for personal use, it's a commitment that, you know, as a first-time buyer, I say I want to commit to spending a substantial part of my life at this particular place. Um, and this place will be called home in future. So for me, what surprised me most about this development is that there's a lot of thought given to how this space will be transformed into a home for people. Um, you know, when we negotiate the um, tension between public and private spaces, I think the development does it seamlessly. You have community spaces, you have lots of retail, a lot of places where people can go as a destination, but then you have, you know, tucked away at the back of the development, the residential portion that you can carve out this space of privacy you know, for myself, and then call it home. I would definitely recommend One Holland Village Residences to a friend or colleague or even other family members, but only if they're good to me. But yeah, because I feel that, you know, it's quite difficult to find a property that is so well organised, well designed, but also caters to um, the larger qualities about you know, living spaces. So to want to find a place that we can call home, and I think uh, for One Holland Village residences, um, the direction that it's going, the contributions that it will make to the neighbourhood um, is something that I think people will definitely identify with.